I just want, I've taken Skelly apart here to do an upgrade. I have to redo my linkage here. It's not holding up. So we're going to add some eighth inch rod and some ends, ball ends and stuff. Also with the, uh, on the uh, elbows. Um, I'll give you a kind of rundown what I did to initially build Skelly. I purchased some of this rod here for redoing lamps. This is almost like half inch diameter. Put some bearings and glued it up inside the, uh, socket here of the uh, skeleton cut off the ball and that was on there dremel that or ground that out a little bit with a dremel so the bearing would fit in there and of course the front part pinches it in tight um, up here on the head made up a mounting bracket with a bearing also epoxy you can see the backside here epoxied in with this uh, mini servo the wires for up in the head uh, future camera power for it, uh, sound, and uh, the servo, which I have up here in the skull area up in here. Most of the bracketry I, I made out of aluminum stock, you know, threaded a lot of stuff. Skelly's powered by a, uh, the control box is a, a Mega, Arduino Mega, and I have the uh, PS2 shield underneath this shield, which I modified that. I cut the uh, power supply out from the control board and ran an individual power to this, to my servos. I was getting a lot of interference trying to pull power through my Arduino board, so I decided to eliminate that power source and run another one. Uh, inexpensive board, five bucks or whatever, just cut that part out. That's a uh, sensor shield, five volt. That way, just the only thing that goes up here is to control the wire, the power for running the, uh, controlling the servos. The PS2 receiver that plugs into the PS2 uh, shield was in this area here, which kind of blocked off the wires for the mega down here that, it, that I'm going to need in the future. So what I did is I made this little harness up, came off the board, and I remote my receiver away from this unit up into the skeleton body out of the way. It gives me some room to get these, plug in my other leads. I'm going to add a uh, MP3 shield to this, but I can't plug it into this because I'm already using some of the circuit. So I'm going to remote it in another box and run the harness back into here, plug my power supply in to this point where I notched out so it doesn't interfere with any of this and goes right to the mega board for the controls. Mega board power supply is just this 9 volt battery, and then I'm using a 7.2 volt uh, RC battery for all my servos, which there's eight of those. So, uh, some of the, like the neck, how it's assembled. We'll zoom in on the shoulder here. The elbow, the linkage isn't on the elbow yet. That's like I said, that's going to be a rod that's going to run from there down to that point. I have to mount my ball stud in this area here, and then the wrist it had originally had screws in there. I put a uh, a, a 632 uh, machine screw with a nylock lock so it wouldn't come loose, and I was able to you know, loosen it up a little bit. If you buy one of these skeletons, they're pretty tight. They, uh, you have to file them out, loosen everything up. The mounts are just, I drilled holes into the plastic and made the aluminum mounts up and epoxied them in. Those back here I used, uh, actually servo mounting screws that come with it. I used those into the plastic, work pretty well, and I mount the uh, servos with 632 screws. I try to tap everything instead of using nuts on the back side drill and ran, you know, tap everything out that way. You know, whole trying to hold nuts and tighten stuff up. And, you know, it's okay if you're putting something together once, but if you keep taking it apart, like you will, playing around with it, it seems like it anyway. Uh, I like to drill and tap things. So the servo mounts for the shoulder. Another shot of that head area. I'll grab this skull. You can take a look at the... Uh, servo up in there. I put that bar in to mount that. Took out the screws and just did a uh, 632 with a 
machine screw and a nylock so the jaw would open and close. We're checking it out. I'm going to uh, do my improvements and I'll get you some shots of that for the next video and and uh, hope this helps you if you decide to build one. And if you see anything I can do better, you know, shoot me a message. Always go for some improvements. Thanks a lot. Bye.